<laughs> uh, so you know that the source of the magic that's coming from the handle isn't a fragment of your wife or anything like that. It's actually from the oranges. The oranges. The origins. Origins comes from <laughs> <laughs> comes from a little sprite, like a little fairy sprite. Oh, that's almost invisible to the eye, but oh. having come in with nature for so long, you know how to spot them. Would I be able to sense the presence of a fae entity within the bow, or not? Oh, you're in Elsix. I'm gonna say yes. Who? Alrighty, yeah, I I hand it back and I say, there's. Outside what I've seen you do, I don't think there's anything extra special about this that you don't already know. Hmm. It, do, it does seem to have a consciousness of some kind bound to it. It seems pretty harmless, though. Intriguing. I'll spend some more time investigating this in the future, then. Thank you very much. Also, just a heads up, I can do that an infinite amount of time, so give me all your magic items. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't consume the pearl. Oh, nice. Yeah, I could do, I could do that shit all day. Um, as we're traveling, can I, like, approach people with my notebook out and my, uh, my pen ready and just ask for, like, details on what happened on, uh, Serena's blessing? Okay, like, yeah, sure. Um, you're cool if I do this out of character and give you the summary, yeah? Because yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. tell you the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, after gathering some reports from multiple people, multiple sources, you know that... A large majority of people woke up in the middle of the night as lightning began flashing and like their loved ones or just people around them seemingly at random became black and charred and just dead. Yet they were still breathing and moving just very slowly as though they were in agonizing pain. And um, immediately as that happened, uh, the people from the druid circle started coming down to the main village and just telling everyone to evacuate and they set up multiple rafts as fast as they could using several spells and magic and they sailed off to Baron Vark immediately. So these guys they don't really have much like they just grabbed what they could and left. Can... And like, of the thousands there's only maybe a hundred that made it out. From like talking to all these people and collating everything in my journals can i determine like any kind of pattern to who was affected by the by the illness or disease or whatever was causing them to uh like... roll an investigation at advantage uh, do, 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 do. oh wow that's pretty good you know that everyone who was listed as affected and whatnot they were all, um, for lack of a better saying, like magically inclined and able to use magic. Whereas most of the people you see before you, they don't have an ounce of arcana in their blood. Okay. Um, and the people who died, they just like blackened and yeah, like died, blackened, or did they like wither up? They withered or... up, blackened, charred. They they were still alive last day. No. Okay. And they sort of like moved very weirdly, slowly. Some of them even got up to walk. But um, any resemblance of their former self is gone. Okay. And the, the lightning strikes, was it like an overcast night or was it just from nowhere, the lightning? Uh, seemingly from nowhere. Okay. Oh, we've seen that before, right? When uh, uh, Narciss was doing stuff. Yeah, that's concerning. I'm not sure if that I... fits her, her MO though, just killing a bunch of people. Yeah, and this this only happened very recently, didn't it? She was over at Overgrowth in the last few days. Unless, well, we know she seems to have multiple personalities. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... What if... I'm not convinced it's her, but I, I, we don't really know her capabilities. Yeah. Um, for okay, the time I'll... being, we need more information. 
Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll no, make sure to note all my observations down in my one of my journals and thank everybody for their, their help. Most of them sort of grunt back at you and go back to sleep, irritated. <laughs> While we're still here, can I see the scout who was supposed to help us with getting the horses? Oh yeah. You see him perched up on a tree, sort of dangling his feet over the edge as he eats a ration. So I uh, basically just teleport up the tree next to him and like, so! Yeah, <laughs> uh, didn't want to help us, huh? I mean, <laughs> I took you there. <laughs> so, uh, it, 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 this might just be me being crazy, you know, but um, you might not need all those arrows if uh, you have no intention of using them. Oh, but, <laughs> but, but I need to hunt. Finally, I'm normal. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, um, you might remember we were hunting for horses to save literally all of your lives. So, you know. I, I used a idea. few arrows, and you didn't. <clears throat> how many I love the idea that... <laughs> well, how many do you have? Uh, 13. Mm. <laughs> how much of a dick do I be? Be a huge one. We're both standing there with our arms crossed and narrows, narrowed eyes. We are both <laughs> taking the help action right now. <laughs> <laughs> if that intimidate boy. Well then, uh, I'll take 12. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can still hunt. With a very shaky hand, he lifts up 12 arrows and slowly hands it over. Thank you. And I slide back down the tree. While this is happening, I'm also having a bit of a look around, see if there's anything I can pick up, like any loose coins or small wow. items. Are they still in pouches when you <laughs> when you pick them up? <laughs> You're robbing <laughs> refugees. <laughs> Where'd you get all that money, Charlie? I don't know. It was just on some guy. <laughs> it was just on some guy. <laughs> Unattended in his pocket. <laughs> Are you sort of trolling through the camp and looking through like bedrolls and stuff? I'm. Look, I'm not looking through bedrolls. I'm just looking to see if anything's been dropped. Look, I'm a monster, but I'm not an absolute asshole. So, <laughs> just looking to see if someone's right. accidentally uh, dropped about ten gold. By and accident. you have dark vision, right? I do. Uh, roll perception at advantage. Righty. I like the idea that, like, I'm, I'm a sadistic monster, but I'm not an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> As you sort of walk through the camp, you notice, you don't really see anyone having left their belongings. Like, they've sort of just left their belongings at the feet of, at the foot of their bedrolls and fairly close yeah. to their persons. But, um, at the perimeter of the camp behind one of the trees, you see a uh, recently dug up ground, which strikes you as interesting. Reason? Okay. I... With that roll there, can I say I've checked for traps, or <laughs> did you want me to roll that again? No, it's fine. Uh, you'd know that there's no traps. It's very never obvious be... there's no traps. Can never be too careful. So, I dig underneath, what do I find? No, oh, you find a landmine that starts to explain. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, as you dig up the little... But that you just notice a small pouch. Uh, it has a few baubles in it as well as gold. And you find... I'll type it out. Yep. Oh damn. Hmm. Dim daggers. Whoop. Oh, Jacob died. Oh. Yeah, that's about all you find. Oh, okay, sweet. Thank you. Oh, he didn't die. He's back. Oh. Yeah, my Discord fucked up. Like, all of the interface just disappeared and it was a grey box. Yeah, how about oh. we just then too? Alright. 
Coolly cool. Uh, so it's pretty much 1 or 2 a.m. ish. Yeah, I want to hit the hay. I need, to, I need my spells back. Yeah, same here. Actually, uh, West, can I run a spell past you? Yeah, sure. It's in, it's in Xanathar's. It's called Healing Spirit. We're going to link it to you. Oh, shit! I know that spell. <laughs> It's a Hell yeah. good fucking spell. <laughs> so it specifies that uh, you call forth a nature spirit and it looks like a transparent beast or fae of your choice. So I want to make it look like a small male green hag. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, I'm going to conjure forth Yoda to heal us. <laughs> I'm just reading through. Gotcha. Oh, you, yay. You guys don't need me to take pictures of my book from now on. <laughs> <You've got laughs> the What's a book? I don't know. Oh, yeah, sure. That looks Oh, fun. that's one of those, like, tattooed tree corpses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. You just earned your bow blessing for the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, like, can this spirit have a name? Like, like I mean, something related to my backstory? Not. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you from naming yeah, just it. Just give it a name. Cool, It's cool. like buying a dog and then being like, can I name the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have true. the right to assign an arbitrary label to this proud beast? Can I, okay, can I link it to my backstory, brother? In what way? As in... He was a really big fan of Star Wars when he was a kid. Spirit ...that uh, guided me when I was younger. Hmm, like an imaginary friend, huh? Kind of, but not imaginary. Just a theory. <laughs> I don't Just think you friend. get to make that distinction. <laughs> ah, sure, why not? Excellent. So now that you've grown older and your ability to sort of be more creative gets stronger, uh, you know that the little friend that you, the little gremlin that you had as a kid, it used to heal you as you fell over and got little cuts and bruises. You never knew why, you thought you were just, you know, high constitution child, but now you know. Oh, and I can conjure him forth to help. Alright, um, is everyone going to sleep, or is someone going to stand watch with the other refugees? I think the oh. scout can stand watch. He has an hour. <clears throat> like, I'll be going to sleep, but I think it is a good idea if we have at least one of us awake. Has anybody still gotten full health and doesn't have any expended spell slots? I want full health, but I'm, my yeah, spell be... slots are depleted. Yeah, same. I've, I've got no level 2s left. Yeah, I can stand watch. I go up a tree. You Thanks. Go up a tree. I I'm go to sleep. What's gonna happen to me? I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, then, could you, Aiden Longshore, please roll a one d twenty? I can. All right. So the, most of the night passes on pretty peacefully, and the moon. The light from the moon still shines pretty brightly, and you can see for quite a distance, and nothing seems to want to disturb this camp. Sweet. And as the, as the night passes on and the morning sun rises and fingers of sunlight start peeking through the trees, you all wake up uh, refreshed of spell slots and health. Cool. I got my temporary hit points, but I get my spell slots back! And as a lot of you wake up, you see that most of the refugees have crowded around a big campfire that they're cooking a big pot of food in. And they're handing out, like, just bottles of gruel. Ew. Seeing free food, uh, Longshaw basically just teleports over to you. <laughs> Do you I'll join up? Too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> What? I line I, up. I really don't want to, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Longshot, do you line up? Yeah. Oh, Free okay. food, man. Alright, yeah, now you line up. So, uh, a lot of you line up. Eventually, yeah. they pass through and it's still a turn. 
And the person who has served you is just this old looking woman with like advanced in years and her wrinkles are so heavy it sort of covers her eyes like a blinder. And she serves a lot of you see <laughs> some gruel. <laughs> and you see a mixture of vegetables. You also see that um, the remnants of a booseberry is sort of like uh, placed onto the side of the bowl like you would with like, I don't know, a martini or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And you'll nice. get your food. Uh, as you eat it, you realize that most of the soup itself is made of booseberry. Oh. Um, yeah, most of it's made of booseberry with a few extra mixtures mixed in. And should a lot of you consume this soup, you can roll a 1d9 for temporary hit points. Plus two. Sweet. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Just a leftover alcohol, dumbs us to pain. <laughs> hey, one d 9 Let's fucking it? go! Ya yeah, boy! <laughs> Holy <Woo>! shit. <laughs> Yeah, 1d9 plus 2. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> yeah, and the suit tastes very faint. <laughs> <laughs> the suit tastes very faint, so... The, most of the booseberry has been bored away, so... It doesn't have any alcoholic effects at all. Oh my god, this is so good! <laughs> Surprisingly good for gruel. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, how do you specify... 1d9. You just uh, type just in slash, yeah, forward slash roll space 1d9. You can just yeah, forward yeah. slash r. Hey. Nice. Hey -o. Oh -ho. It's a plus two on that as well, so you got 11. Oh. I can see these rolls. That's really good. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> It's the only good rolls of the night. Just wait for me to go back to that. <laughs> yeah. my perceptions all day. <laughs> all downhill from here. Well, it was fun while it lasted, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do you note down the recipe? I'm going to write down the recipe. Can yeah. I, can I reverse engineer the recipe? Like, successfully? I'm just gonna mm. ask the old lady for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll join you. Like, <laughs> this is the best damn gruel I've ever tasted. I must know how you did it. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna I go up my there. notebook Rages out. Versus clerics. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, that's. I, I think I'm gonna spend this little bit of time actually putting my armor back on. So. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. Gonna redress. I, I will accost the old woman for the recipe. <laughs> accost. <laughs> <laughs> So then, as you, as you come back to life. as you come back to the line, you see her with her shaking hands, sort of pour, pouring more gruel for the people in line. Uh, she doesn't seem to notice you as you walk up next to her. Please don't give her a heart attack. <laughs> I'm half expecting her to just like think you're asking for more and just fucking abuse the shit out of you. Uh, I'll. I d uh, I might wait until she's uh. I'll wait till she's done serving everybody. Oh, there's a long line. Oh, uh, okay. Like, yeah. Uh, also, like, like 20 uh, more people. It's not uh, like we're going anywhere until these people have all eaten anyway. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll help, like, hand out grill to people. Is there another spoon I can help with? Whatever she's using to, like, dole it out. Use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> As you sort of look around the bowl and, you know, trying to reach for a spoon, she smacks your hand with her spoon and says in an elderly lady voice, Everyone waits in line! Oh, um, no, sorry, I was just gonna help you, uh, dole it out to people. No excuses! I'm gonna <laughs> tight in line! <laughs> okay, and I, I back away, like, Fucking nursing my wrist. Fucking exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, whilst you're at the back of the line, about 20 minutes-ish passes before you finally get up to the lady again, and she starts to serve a bowl of gruel to you. I, I won't say no to an additional gruel, uh, bowl of gruel, but, um, as she's, like, uh, dolling out to me, I'll ask her, um, could I trouble you for the recipe? This was by far the best... Uh, the best gruel I've ever tasted. 
Oh, it's a family secret. Can you adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know how to read thoughts? <laughs> Can I do like a persuasion check and... Yeah, sure. What would you say to that? Um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, don't you recognize me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I oh, that's right. that. <laughs> no, I'll say, um, I, I'll try my best to look absolutely dejected and just heartbroken <laughs> at the thought that I will never again taste this wonderful meal. And I say, oh, um, well, okay, I'll, I'll respect your decision, and I take my bowl of gruel, I turn away, and I slowly walk away, shoulders hunched, <laughs> face downcast. Uh, this, I feel like, leans more towards performance. So, okay, okay. in that case, roll performance at an advantage. I should be good at this, because I'm a bard. 18 will be a DC. Hey! Hey! Thank you for advantage. <laughs> as you look, as you look extremely dejected and you start walking away, she sort of very slowly saunters over you, stumbling a little bit, and she places her hand on your shoulder. Do you really think it's good? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I set the uh, bowl of gruel down, and I take her, I take her hand in both hands, and I look earnestly into her eyes, and I say. <laughs> It is the best thing I have tasted in weeks, months even. At least 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever says thank you. You're so kind. And then she sort of grabs out a parchment from beneath her blouse and a little ink and quill. And she very slowly but surely writes a little recipe for you. I'll type it out. You know, I just want to say while West is typing it, that reminded me of the absolute best, uh, like, bard bluff I've ever seen. It was like the first game of d and I ever played, and I had no idea what I was doing. And we were supposed to get the ship to another island, and we were just running completely late, because we got distracted by, like, four side quests. When we started <laughs> running the ship, we're, like, so fucking pissed. Like, yeah, like, it's... We've been waiting four days. <laughs> Nat twenty bluff puts his hands on his hips and goes, "Where have you been?" <laughs> uh, I will reverently take a little bit of parchment and carefully, like, put it in one of my notebooks and like close it and just to press it flat to make sure it's not crumpled and slip it into my pocket. And thank her enthusiastically and uh, take my bowl of gruel and go to sit down and eat it. Yeah, she sort of just pinches your cheek as you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> like hey, not your face cheek, your butt cheek. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> I choose to feel... Good about myself. I, think. <laughs> I feel validated and sexy. <laughs> Just sidle up to you like, hey, Tobias, old buddy, a lot. Remember those times I saved your life? Uh, enough times to counteract the fact that I'd put it directly in even more danger. <laughs> How about sharing that recipe? <laughs> Well, I was unconscious at the time, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll like, uh, write a copy for you. Ya yeah, boy! <laughs> I get it tattooed on my inner thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere intimate and close to you. Uh, <laughs> forgot that. My bad. Awesome. <laughs> Just imagine how it would go without the water. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't look like I remember. Hey. It's just, it seems like it's missing something. <laughs> it's a little dry! Hey, Aiden. Yes? Um, my water skin is just about empty. I will, uh... I'll, I'll bless your bow again if you can uh, find a way to fill it up for me. 
Yeah, I can do that. Cool. I'll give it to him. I take it. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to behind that. <laughs> Bad girls it. <laughs> Water, you mean diet piss. <laughs> uh, can I roll the 1d9 plus 2 again, since I'm having another roll? Yeah, but uh, you'll have to roll a constitution save. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Decisions. I, I think I'm right. I won't get greedy. Like, I'll eat what soup is comfortable, and then I might give the rest to somebody if they're still feeling peckish. Yeah, a little scruffy child runs by. Yeah. And just yanks it out of your hands <laughs> and runs away. How rude. A sacred flame now! <laughs> <laughs> and vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you know vicious mockery. I don't, unfortunately. Oh, that's such a shame. There's as nothing soon as better I than... get it. As soon yeah. as I get a new cantrip, I'm taking that. There's nothing better than actually just shaming someone like <laughs> <with> that. <laughs> Alright, so as the, uh, now that you've done with the recipe, is there anything else anyone would like to do whilst the camp is still here? Not really. Right, if we have a few minutes before everyone heads off, I'd like to just look around the area for any venomous plants. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, hey. We have some time to kill. May as well do something. Mm -hmm. And Some what are you gonna say, Thorin? Oh, just making the exchange. There you go. So I'm I'm blessing his his bow, and I get a full water skin. And I take a I, I sniff it really quickly just to make sure it's actually water. <laughs> Where'd you find water? Well, I'm gonna fill your water skin. I like look for water. I'm looking for plants. All right, so that's fair. Skin. All right. Well then, please roll a survival or. A... <laughs> <laughs> Good to have a ranger in the party. Yeah. <laughs> so you come across a small body of water in the middle of the forest, and you know that just drinking it straight up is not the best idea. So you sort of dig a hole towards the side of it, and you let the earth sort of filter the water by itself. And um, as it, like as the water well. fills into the hole, you scoop up the top of it over and over again until the water skin is filled. Then you look around for some. Uh, venomous plants, you say? Yes. Okay, uh, you see at the base of a tree, just some, like a small weed plant. It's a bit brownish to the color. And you know that, oh, would you know this? Roll a nature. At advantage. Right. You're still in L6. Yeah, boy! Oh, no. So yeah, you know that this root is a it's called muck root and if you were to grind it up with like a mortar and pestle uh the juices from it would be venomous uh and it's applied through being ingested all right sweet i take as many as i can carry or well, through being ingested did you say yeah ingested I wonder if you I, could I was aerate looking it. specifically for venomous plants. Do you reckon you could aerate it? Oh, you mean it? like, like uh, you could make injury like a... poison type? Yeah. Oh. Because venom is blood poisonous ingestion. Oh. Yeah, English is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the mug root though. That's fine. I can always look later. Yeah. I mean, uh, I you, you get, you get like head. you get like there. five muck root. Sweet. Do you reckon and... you could aerate it? Like put it in like a smoke bomb or something and have people breathe it in. And as, as you leave, you find a small purple stalk with like a leafy flower at the top and immediately the smell from the flower just turns your nose. <laughs> but you recognize it because you've come across these in your travels quite a bit. Uh, there's only one of this plant and I'll type it out for you. Thank you. How many mockery did you say good? Five. Sweet. And so you said the more I put into one thing, the more potent they get, right? So will that be like an extra D4 per mockery, or...? Um... Depending on your roll, yeah. Cool, cool. Ooh. That hexbane looks nice. 
And uh, I make sure I keep those well away from Thorin's water skin. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the only other question I have for you is how do you transport this Hagsbane? Uh, will it injure me if I just touch it? Because I was just going to... No, it... no. If you just touch it, no. It just smells bad. And if you, oh. like, I don't know, pop it or something. Um, I guess it... Oh, I guess if it stinks, I'll, um... Um... <laughs> I will wrap it. Oh, I never actually took the deer skin. Oh, no. I'll shoot something later and wrap it in its skin. But for now, I'll just put it in my backpack and deal with smelling bad. <laughs> Alright. Uh, when I see Aiden return to camp with this, like, horrific smelling plan. <laughs> <laughs> we can I'm smell gonna, it before we can see him. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, approach Aiden, like, just covering my nostrils. Like, what in... <sighs> what have you brought back? Can uh, I try just, and like, make that head, smell like, <laughs> a little bit less like death itself? Please do! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can use Shamancraft. I'm renaming it. Shamancraft? Yeah, so, like, backstory, I kind of wanted to flavor my character more as a shaman rather than a druid, so... Oh, that's fair enough. I just that wasn't expecting... Sense. If every time I just say druidcraft, it kind of ruins that sort of uh, aesthetic. Have, like, whole... Native American yeah, thing going on. That's fair enough. So I'm going to use Shamancraft to create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect to create a beautiful perfume-like fragrance from the Hag's Bane. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> hmm. And here I was just holding holding a handful of sage and making my hands amber just like as a human <laughs> incense stick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as you do that, and you sort of try to obscure the smell of Hag's Bane, uh, the two smells sort of mix together, so it's not as nose-turning as before, but it does still smell kind of bad. It's like, if you like spray Dio on B.O., it still smells bad, but not as bad. Just bearable. Yeah. Um, but, but, oh, this is going to really impact my ability to stealth. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> um, you can't stealth anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to smell like shit. I, I might head over because this smell is just completely ruining my concentration. <laughs> oh, and... Thanks for the water skin, by the way. I take my water skin back. <laughs> You're I like I like fish around in my pack for one of my many ink bottles that I've like depleted with all my writing, uh, and I use prestidigation to. I like clean out the excess ink and just shove it in your direction because it should be pretty <gasps> close to air down into the <laughs> jar and seal it. Actually, can I keep this? Because now when I grind it up and make the gas, I can just keep the gas in this ink. Yeah, I I'm still like arrow. frantically waving my hands <gasps> in front of my face and just nodding and backing away. I just, I just had an idea. I just had a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I can, I can do that metal shaping thing that I do, and I can make a little metal sphere. That's got a little plug in it, like a little cork plug. And we could fill it with water, put the Hagsbane in it if it's poisonous, and then sort of be Hagsbane in water in this thing. And then we can throw it at a dude and I can cast heat metal on it. <laughs> and then the cork will pop off and just this poisonous steam will just be coming out. Nice. I, I, I rub my chin. <laughs> Although that would take two rounds. Well, two turns for one action, as opposed to if I just extract the gas and put it in a glass jar. And then I can just attach it to an arrow and, and it's one round rather than both of us having to spend our turn to do one thing. Let me have this. It is a very good idea. <laughs> 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 Alright. The bigger the container gets, oh, unless the you better the returns on the heat metal plan, I think. Yeah, that's, unless... We're... You're thinking too can't... small at the hand grenade stage. You need to <laughs> up the ante to like, <laughs> Although like I guess... a metal barrel. Wagon bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess I am kind of fixating on the arrow idea. I can just give you the hag bait and then you can do that. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, I, don't want it I don't want it ruining myself so you can have it and make your little 
I, I put I put my hands up and I don't let him give it to me and I'm like nah, you can not. Nah. <laughs> I crammed it into a glass bottle and cooked it. Yeah, yeah it but should, I'm not exactly fun. the most careful person, and I'm literally <laughs> wearing metal all over my body. I'm gonna break that so fast. Into my backpack it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we all ready to continue out for the day? <laughs> I love the amount of time we spend on my new show. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're an hour into the session and it's just been like eating soup and foraging. <laughs> Literally an entire hour. So, as everyone sort of finishes their thing, uh, you see that the people, uh, all the refugees, they've started to stand up, pack up their bags, they're chucking in the caravan, they're taking their seats on the caravan. The horses have been straddled and they're ready to go. Cool. Straddled. Really good. I get back on my horse. I ride my elk. Yep, I'm back on mine. Right. Yeah, I'll get back on mine. Uh, then you guys start heading back towards Archerton's teleport. Uh, snow begins to sort of lightly fall, covering the ground, and you sort of trudge along. Some of the horses whinny a bit. You you all feel a little bit chilly. It's oh, not sorry. that bad. J can yeah. I just say, so I say it now rather than say it if something yeah, happens, sure. it doesn't seem like I'm trying to. Um, I'm going to hang back with the refugees, like not at the front with the party, just to, so I can if something happens, as opposed to being in the middle of it. Yeah, sure. We should establish a common marching order, actually. Just, if we don't specify, then that's just what it can be assumed to be. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Dibs on the middle. Yeah, I, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like... I'll be at the front, because I'm the big fat tank, and then... I'll maybe be right the... behind you. Okay, I'll yeah. Be, I'll some... be at the back, because I have stupidly long range. Yeah, and I think I feel like we should have the rogue close to the front, and not yeah. at the front. Yeah, I was going to say, like, second or third. Well, I we think can we're in a dungeon rogue at the front, because he can spot traps and shit. Yeah, alright, so... Alright, yeah, I'm good with that. And then, okay, so... Cleric, Druid, Rogue, Bard, Ranger. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, I guess you guys should remember that, and when, if we do a battle map, you should drag yourself in that order. Alrighty. I'll make better so, yeah. so as you guys sort of head towards the teleport, uh, the sun's pretty bright now, and snow's continuing to fall. As you exhale, you see the breath of steam coming out, and your fingers get a bit chilly. At this point, you don't really see that many animals on the land, so... If all of you could roll a perception for me, that would be great. That's a good sign. Uh, I'm gonna add my oh, so guidance so to this. <laughs> so man, oh yeah, shit! I didn't guidance in time. Forgot. I'm trying to purposely hamstring myself, so I'm not just. I guidance that. I guidance this. I guidance <laughs> that as well. <laughs> Well, that's why guidance is so good, because you can just do that shit all day. If you want yeah. guidance, you should do it now. Right. I haven't declared anything yet. May as well! hey -o. Nice. Uh... Wow, okay. Uh, Longshore, you're the only one who sees... Jesus Christ. Oh. I know. Everyone sees a single eagle flying in the sky, high above, circling the lot of you. But a long shot out of the corner of your eye, very far away in the forest, you see a single figure sort of poking her head out uh, to the side of the tree trunk, looking at the lot of you. Uh, she seems to notice that you know, and as she sort of slinks back into the shadow, the eagle disappears. I whistle to the rest of the party. What's up? I turn my head. I uh, saw a woman in the trees over there. The woman or a woman? A woman. You said woman, right? Or just a person? Uh, yeah, woman. Because right. I was thinking Narcissus as well and got stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm suddenly, I'm suddenly a little bit worried. Do you reckon we could, uh... It's, it's, like, a, it's, like, it's like a two days travel to get to the teleporter, right? Uh, one day. Seems. One day. We just broke it up into two days because we left in the afternoon. Uh, do you reckon we could step on it? Because I feel very uncomfortable with her lurking around. Hold up. Can we try and uh, send out a scout party to try and uh, see if we can track her down? 
I'll hang back with I the think refugees. We're a pretty good scout buddy, to be honest. Yeah, you two can go off. I'll hang back with the with the people. All right. Can I take an animal form as well? I'm going to use Wild Shape to take the form of a brown bear. All right, and uh, I'm going to very cautiously approach uh, the tree and then attempt to track the person. I'm, I, I might go with you in case social food is needed. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll stay right, back with the coming? refugees. All right, so as the people staying back with the refugees are still walking along the road at a fairly slow pace and the scouting party heads towards where Longshore saw the wall. Yeah. Uh, yeah? Sorry, you just cut off that from at least oh. for me. Yeah, so everyone with the refugees, they're walking on the main road slowly, and the scouting party heads up to where Longshore last saw the woman. Uh, if you're going to try to track her, could you roll a perception for me? Or a survival? I'm uh, going to try and smell her down. So I'm going to try and like check for her scent. Do you have a range for your scent? No. Then I guess roll perception too. All right, bears have advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on smell. All right, go All for right. it. Oh. Okay, cool. Not bad. All right, uh, S1DR, you smell... Hmm. The smell of a woman, but not quite elven nor human. And okay. by now her distance is quite far already, which strikes you as odd for her speed. Uh, you don't smell the eagle that was hanging around you guys. Mm. Okay. Uh, Longshore and Tobias, neither of you see any tracks. Oh. Do, All right, like... So she's either supernatural oh, or she's covered. A, as you guys got close to where Longshore saw her, this is I'm assuming you guys are going to go... Yep. Uh, you see a single backpack pinned to the middle of a tree uh, by an arrow, and on the arrow is a small note just wrapped around the base of it. I will head up to the pack and like take the note off the arrow and read it. You see, so as you undo the thing, you see uh, as you read the letter at the top. It just says C, and then in the, fucking I'll type it out. Jesus, I can't. <laughs> like that. Like from is the body of the message, and L's at the bottom, like signed. That's all you see. Mm. Um. Do. Thorin is nearly smart enough to put this together, but I bet that's my pack. Just... Uh... Okay, that doesn't help. Um... So there's no tracks at all. I'm gonna shift back into Elven form and speak to you, Tobias. I sniffed her scent. She seemed to be moving at a very unnaturally fast pace away from this location. She doesn't seem to mean us harm. Um, I'll turn to turn to our ranger friend. Um, did you happen to catch what she was wearing? Was she dressed like someone from L6 or dark shaded what? colors? Yeah, with very no good no infection. Can we actually open up the pack and see what's inside? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I don't see why not. I'll uh, like unstick the arrow, put the pack on the ground, and. Flip it open and wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm gonna roll perception on the back. <laughs> Give yeah, us like... what happened to our good friend <laughs> Kalias with the trapped backpack. Yeah, I was thinking that out of character, but I'm probably not savvy enough to. <laughs> well, I, yes, I went into the trapped backpack, so. <laughs> so you take your time to sort of look around the entire backpack. Uh, nothing seems out of the ordinary. N not much of the buttons have been. Like the only thing you notice may be. Uh, the straps that you'd put around your shoulder, there's been stitchings that have basically pulled it back together, and it's been fixed through sewing. Hmm. Alright, uh, look in it, and then after you're done, I want to 
really look like in the seams. As you guys open it up and you look through, uh, you see various like... tools like thieves' tools, disguise kit, poisoner's kit. You see various daggers, some gold. <laughs> uh, see for Kalias. Yeah. About it. I'm gonna. Oh, like it's been sewn together as though it was cut off somewhere. Like fixed, back. yeah. Right. Sweet. Hmm. Someone's looking out for us. Hmm. Well, I, I imagine this is addressed to Kalia, so I, I like put the note uh, in the backpack and close it and pick it up and say, may as well go show it to him and see what he thinks of it. I'm sure he'll be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Back to the rest of the party. Yeah, uh, the the scouting party heads back to the main body of the refugees, and oh, they're still continuing the, along. As we're on the way back, I'm just like, so, do you think he's gonna need all his gold? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, dude, like, yeah, <laughs> I could resist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really fussed about gold. Past a point, anyway. <laughs> what is... I don't even know what gold case. is useful for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Money can be exchanged case, for uh, goods and services. The party reconnects. Yeah, yeah I'll hand the, pa uh, hand the pack back to... Uh, <laughs> hand to the, pa the party rocks up just in time to see Kalias and Thorin nodding to each other. <laughs> 15 like, seconds straight. Like, as we approach for like 20 minutes, it's just, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tieflings so, are weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I'll take the backpack, um, you guys didn't notice anything weird with the pack before I do my answers? <laughs> Uh, no, we opened it up and didn't explode, so... And someone took all the gold. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks, man. Really? When did that happen? <laughs> uh, Kalius, just out of character, I hope you noted down everything that you lost. Because everything that you did lose is in the pack. Yeah. And or strapped ah. to it. Excellent. Is there any of my own stuff in there? Yeah, did we miss the other backpacks? With... <laughs> <laughs> no, there's well, nothing for Thorin. That does uh, beg the question. Carlos, do you know anyone named L? L? L. L. I... I do know that name. It's uh, more of a... Um, I, I guess a signature, if you will. Uh, someone that's more of an associate than a friend, but uh, why do you ask? Uh, I, I like point to the note that I uh, shoved in the pack before packing it up. Oh. Huh. What did this woman look like again? Typical I shady woman. See. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm concerned that um, someone's following us and we don't know about it. So if you could fill us in on uh, what's happening here, that'd be great. Because if she can find us, anyone can. Especially if we're heading back to the teleporter. Okay. Um, out of character comment, um, I'm just going to explain exactly what's being exactly what I know about this character. Could you do so in character? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think you should do that out of character. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little bit meta. Okay. So essentially, her code name is Loda, okay, and Loda's basically a contact I've got when I used to do some less than desirable things, shall we say. Um, she's been there, buddy. Yeah, she's helped me in, I guess, a previous life, got me some work, got me some pay. Haven't seen it for a little while, but um, looks like someone's looking out for me. Hmm. Is there any way for us to get in contact with her? Because I'm just concerned how she's tracking us. I've been covering our tracks ever since we were ambushed. So just repeat that again. Sorry, I didn't quite catch all of that. I'm so concerned there... as to how she's following us. 
because I've been covering our tracks since we were ambushed. She's very good at her job, I think is the best way to say it. And I don't know if it's because she's been able to see through your covering or whether she's got a special sight for me, but I don't think she's too worried about you guys. It's more me that she's after, if anything. Do you have any trinkets that she ever gave you? That's a good point. I searched through the bag. Do I see? No, because you wouldn't need to worry about the bag because she found us without it. It's anything that you've got on you right now. Oh, wait. Because either way, you've got either... I don't know if you're an assassin or a thief, but one of those is now following us with uncanny accuracy. Can I help Kalius go through his stuff, see if I can find any... If his if like say his sword might have a like a little sigil or a rune crafted into the handle, maybe it's on his armor. Maybe he's just got like a piece of jewelry that he likes. I want to go through his shit. As I go through, oh, I definitely allow, but I'm going through as well. And as I go through, I notice the white gem that I'm carrying. Out, oh, it's probably this, and I hand it over. I cast. I'm, I'm going to cast identify on it again. See if it's got any scrying bullshit attached to it. All right. Uh, I'm just going to read through that again because I forgot. Oh, okay. So you get to learn what it does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, this white gem acts as sort of a beacon, a one-way beacon that pings every every few seconds. I kind of just pinch the bridge of my nose and go, Kalius! Can you tell if that signal is limited to anyone? Or could anyone who wanted to with the right receiver? I imagine just us? just being magically inclined myself. Um, it's it's more of a one-way thing. It's, it's not like an open broadcast is what you're asking. I, at least I fucking hope not. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> Can I tell by with my identify spell if it's an open broadcast? Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah, you know that it's a. It only. If you're to think of it like a radio, it has a certain frequency right. that only one of the other persons would know. So okay. it's not an open broadcast at all. All right. So I, I turn to Aiden. I said, no. It 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 does seem to be like the enchantment is matching. There's what there's one here, and there's something that allows you to follow this. So, uh, Kalius, I say, as I kind of twirl the thing around my finger, and I say, this has been leading your friend right to us for ever since we've met. Hmm. Um, is that such a bad thing? I mean, she seems to be helping him out. Can I roll an insight on Kalius to see if he knew that this was happening? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know this was happening? I had no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a nat one? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I had no idea. Alrighty. It doesn't surprise me, but I had no idea. Right. Okay. I kind of just hold it in my palm and I look at it and I say, what do we do about this? Do we keep it with us? I, I think, think there's a whole heap of um, refugees that would like something shiny. Do you want to give it to them? <laughs> I think before we decide, we should know a little bit more about who this person is and who you are, Carl is. Mm. <sighs> I, I keep the gem. I don't hand it back just yet. Uh, What's your story, Galius? I tried I to should ask mention this I'm eyeing him very suspiciously. Yep. So, like I sort of mentioned, before I, before you guys met me, and hopefully once we get out of this thing alive, I'll be going back to it. I'm sort of a cross between a mercenary and a, um, well, basically a mercenary, um, but in the sense of thieving. So I just go around stealing stuff, take the occasional hit where it's easy enough to do, get my coin. It's not something I'm proud of, but it's something I had to do. And 
this loter is essentially the person who was signing my ch- my paychecks and finding me work. So your handler is now following us around. You could say that, yeah. Do you know if it's her personally or it might be someone acting on her behalf? Look, it's, it's possible it's somebody acting on her behalf and just carrying notes that are signed by herself. The, is she the kind of person to get her hands dirty? Or would she send someone else to do it for her? Not, yeah, no, not really. She's she's not the sort of person to get her own hands dirty unless she can, she can't avoid it. I guess right. she's, yeah. She is deaf. she has a lot of contacts. So if somebody was doing, or sorry, if she wasn't doing it, it'd be somebody doing it directly for her. Who is she loyalty? Is this... Are you part of this vast organization, this criminal underworld, or are they connected with this invasion? Whether they're connected with the invasion, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, My part in this is essentially a private contractor. So I've gone in as an individual to ask her for help, and she's basically a contact I have to go between myself and this order. Uh, it's called the Order of Orlome. And again, they're basically thieves and essentially murderers. I kind of rub the back of my neck a little bit, suddenly a little bit worried. And I say, it, th- is it okay that you've just told us this? Like, surely these people would prefer a certain amount of secrecy and discretion. As those words leave your mouth, the gem itself pings a bright yellow, then fizzles. It doesn't disappear, but it fizzles uh, kind of white hot, and it burns I, your hand. I, I pelted at the side of Kalius' head. <laughs> <laughs> that can only be good. Yeah, it, it sort of just tings off your head. <laughs> What's your AC, Kalius? Donk! <laughs> um, 14. Is it meted beat it, or is it defended favored? Oh, that's a good card. Because usually it's player favored. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you. Is it meet it, beat it, or is it defender favored? Let me, uh, Kalius, are you going to avoid this? I am going to avoid this, yeah. Roll a dex. Ooh. This could be dangerous. Nat one, nat one, nat one. Uh, dex save. Uh, just normal. Fuck it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you sort of very quickly move your head aside, you cock it to one side, and the gem flies past you harmlessly. And as it sort of trickles to the floor, uh, the the white hotness of it fades away, and it returns to just being a white gem. I'm gonna go pick it up before Kalias can, basically. <laughs> yeah, you do so, and nothing happens. Did we break it? Do I, have like, to, broken? do I have to identify it a third time? <laughs> <laughs> also, are we having this conversation as we're riding along? Or are we oh yeah, we're I'm, assuming we're, I'm, I'm assuming we're still like clopping along. Alright, cool. Uh, if you're asking it out of character, yeah, you would have to cast that and fight one more. Great. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna wait for Aiden to realize that he can't do it on his own, and every, it has, he has to ask me for help first. I'm like holding it out to you. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess I'll be <laughs> <to cast this. laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, I just wanted to get it before Carlos ran off and got it. Fair enough. I'm being tracked by this mysterious gem. I've got no magical inkling apart from the little bit I do know being a tiefling. I have no wish to have this. With that old identify spell, can I tell if it's like a full-on scrying, like audio and visual, or is it just like location GPS? Uh, it's just location, and were you to cast identify again, uh, would you? Like yeah. You? Yeah. Well, then I, uh, you know that it's capable of sending only one message, which it has sent. Carlos, I think you're in trouble for telling us about that. 
Um, sorry to clarify. It's capable of sending a message once, or it can only send a single, like, pre-written message. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a pre-written message. Okay. No, it's a pre-written message one time. Okay. <laughs> but it's still functioning. That message is just can't be sent anymore. Yeah, correct. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to approach Carlius. So, you mentioned you're not proud of this line of work. Is this something you want to leave in your past to move on from? If I can avoid going back to it, absolutely. It's the sort of thing that a man does what he has to do to survive. Understood, understood. It seems you might be in trouble with your uh, previous benefactor, so your past might be coming to catch us before too long, I imagine. I, Admittedly, if it's if she is tracking me, which does look like, it's only me that she's after. It wouldn't be anything that you've done, and I'm more than happy to ask that she leave you guys out of it and deals with me one-on-one -on -one because you uh, shouldn't have to suffer for my failings. Uh, unless she wants to get rid of witnesses or something, if you've told us too much, it might not be your decision to make. Nevertheless, that's actually a very honourable thing that you just said, Carlius. You have my respect. Thank you. Same, same here. I'll um, I'll stand by you when the time comes. Yeah, you seem like a decent enough person. If you continue to be reliable, that is. <laughs> by you. Yeah, I, I suppose in fairness, this doesn't cancel out anything you've done for us up until now. You you have been quite helpful to our cause. That said, we probably should stop the possible assassin. We should ditch uh, the thing. I think yeah. we should ditch the thing. <laughs> Where's hey, Espen the scout? Espendir. <laughs> Where's the scout? <laughs> <laughs> um, Espendir. Yo, what's up? Do you reckon you can attract the attention of like just some random elk or maybe like a bird or something? We could just put it on that and have them chase around nothing for as long as we can. That is a good idea. That's a really um, good idea. <laughs> All right, can I search for some uh, animals in the wilderness as we're traveling? Uh, once again, as you're traveling, you know that there is a distinct lack of land or air animals. That's a shame. Who's I, the, who's uh, give, it, give it to me. On? I have a bird and I can cast a spell on it and fly this 10 minutes away. <laughs> so I'm just going to fly it out to sea. Uh, out oh. to sea might be a bit obvious though. Well, I'll drop it fly in. It, fly, fly it over the top of the siege so it makes it seem like he got killed. Excellent idea. I hand right, it to so him. We'll, oh, well, we're still more than 10 minutes flight away from there. Oh, yeah, but once we get close enough, yeah. I feel like that's a great idea. Mm. All right, I, I hand the uh, I, I hand the, the fucking scrying thing to Aiden for safekeeping. <laughs> Out of character, I compensated for um, Beastmaster, not turning out to be as good as it would be to just take a spell like, and possess my bird for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, just out of character for a sec, uh, Carlius, did you get Overflow Inspiration? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, well, then in that case, everyone gets 100 XP. Woo! 